for our next news special report. Tonight we delve into a matter of urgent national concern. Imagine this, a foreign power known for its hostility now claims to have eyes directly over our nation's most secure locations. North Korea, a name synonymous with defiance and provocation, asserts its latest spy satellite has captured critical images of the White House and the Pentagon. But here's the twist. In an age where satellite imagery is readily accessible, why is Pyongyang boasting about this particular feat? Is it mere bravado, or is there a darker plot brewing beneath the surface? As we explore these questions, we'll uncover the reality behind these claims and what they could mean for our great republic. You don't want to miss the in-depth analysis and the compelling final thought that ties this all back to you, the American citizen. Stay with us for a report that cuts through the noise with direct no-nonsense journalism. Now, folks, before we dive into this special report, a quick but crucial interlude. Much like North Korea's satellite might be a harbinger of looming threats, our soaring national debt is an undeniable crisis, and right now the U.S. debt stands at a staggering $34 trillion. Similar to how surveillance from above can spell danger, this financial burden is a silent threat to our nation's stability. The spending on interest has now surpassed what we allocate to the Pentagon. It's time to secure your assets, and Patriot Gold Group, they are your ally. Think of them as the financial watchdogs vigilant against the volatility of our economy. The number's on the screen there. Dial it, 888-857-9437, right now for a reliable investment in gold. Remember, call 888-857-9437 for the Patriot Gold Group. They are your shield in these uncertain times. Now, as we delve into North Korea's recent declaration about its spy satellite capabilities, there are layers to this narrative that demand our scrutiny. So let's start with the basics, shall we? North Korea claims its satellite has captured images of the White House, Pentagon, and other significant U.S. military locations. Now, this announcement, made with the typical North Korean fanfare, has sent ripples of concern across the globe. But let's add a pinch of reality to the so-called technological leap. The idea that North Korea, a nation known more for its bluster than its tech prowess, has suddenly mastered advanced satellite surveillance, well, <laughs> to put it mildly laughable, in an era where high-resolution satellite images are just a Google map search away, Kim Jong-un's chest-thumping seems more like a child flaunting a new toy than a genuine strategic advance. And remember, this is the same regime that once claimed to have found a unicorn lair. However, it's the potential implications of these claims that we cannot afford to dismiss lightly. Watch. This is actually the third time this year that North Korea has tried to put a military spy satellite into space. And it does look as if this time they've actually succeeded. Late on Tuesday night, the country's dictator Kim Jong-un watched the Cholima rocket lift off from a launch pad in the country's northwest. This is undoubtedly a PR victory for the regime, as well as a technical success. Assuming the satellite settles into a stable orbit, it will transmit pictures of U.S. and South Korean military activity on the ground, although the quality of the images is uncertain. Detailed or not, though, North Korea claims the pictures will provide an early warning of what they call aggression troops preparing an attack, although the U.S. and South Korea maintain their military stance is purely defensive. Now, the first question we must ask is, what is the real capability of these North Korean satellites? Analysts have long questioned the technological sophistication of Pyongyang's space endeavors. South Korea's earlier retrieval and analysis of a failed North Korean satellite attempt revealed a rudimentary device far from the cutting-edge spy equipment Kim Jong-un would have the world believe he possesses. This finding aligns with the historical pattern of North Korean exaggeration. Yet, despite the probable hyperboil, there is a darker side to the story that we cannot ignore. Even a rudimentary satellite in the hands of a regime as unpredictable as North Korea poses a threat, not necessarily in the traditional sense of espionage, but as a potential tool for something far more sinister, an electromagnetic pulse attack. An EMP, for those unfamiliar, is a burst of electromagnetic energy capable of crippling electronic infrastructure. It's a real-life doomsday scenario where a single detonation could plunge vast areas of our country into darkness and chaos. Here's more. 
North Korean state media said Tuesday its leader Kim Jong-un received photos of, quote, major target regions in the United States, taken by its recently launched spy satellite. KCNA said the batch includes photos of the White House, Pentagon, and U.S. aircraft carriers. Seoul officials say the North's claims could not be confirmed as it has not released the photos. Contention over the satellite spilled over into a snap meeting of the U.N. Security Council a day earlier, which was called to convene after last week's launch, following dozens of ballistic missile tests over the past 20 months. It resulted in a rare, direct, public exchange between the U.S. and North Korea. Here's U.S. Ambassador Linda Thompson-Greenfield. The DPRK is unabashedly trying to advance its nuclear weapons delivery systems by testing ballistic, ballistic missile technology in clear violation of this council's resolutions. Now, the prospect of North Korea using a satellite to carry out an EMP attack is a subject of debate among experts. While some dismiss it as far-fetched, others warn that underestimating Kim Jong-un's willingness to engage in asymmetric warfare is a dangerous mistake. This brings up the next critical question. Does North Korea's announcement signal an intent for a nuclear first strike? Well, to understand this, we need to take a look at North Korea's track record and strategic culture. Kim Jong-un's regime has consistently used provocations as a bargaining chip, often resorting to saber-rattling to gain concessions from the international community. Their nuclear and missile programs have followed a similar pattern of dramatic announcements followed by negotiations. However, the introduction of a supposed reconnaissance satellite adds a new dimension to this brinksmanship. The images of U.S. military installations, if they exist and are of any significant quality, could serve multiple purposes for North Korea. They could be used as propaganda tools, demonstrating the regime's supposed reach and capability to its domestic audience. Alternatively, they could be intended as a message to the international community showcasing North Korea's growing military capabilities and its willingness to challenge the United States. However, to assume that these images would be used for planning a nuclear first strike might be a step too far. Despite its aggressive posturing, North Korea is aware of the catastrophic consequences of such an action. The regime's primary goal has always been its survival, and a first strike would almost certainly result in a devastating response from the U.S. and its allies. But the EMP threat remains a wild card. It's a scenario that could cause widespread disruption without the immediate catastrophic destruction of a nuclear strike. It's a strategy that does align with North Korea's penchant for asymmetric warfare, where they seek to exploit vulnerabilities in more powerful adversaries. An EMP attack could be seen as a way to inflict significant harm while potentially avoiding the full-scale retaliation of a nuclear strike would provoke. On the other hand, skepticism is warranted. The technological requirements for a successful EMP attack are significant, and it's unclear if North Korea possesses the capability to execute such an operation. Moreover, the utility of their satellites for such a purpose remains doubtful given the rudimentary nature of their space technology. In this context, the mockery directed at North Korea's satellite announcement is understandable. The notion that Kim Jong-un's regime has suddenly leaped forward in surveillance technology is met with skepticism, if not outright derision, by many experts. The funny thing, as pointed out earlier, is that the satellite imagery of the White House and other U.S. landmarks is readily available online. It's akin to boasting about a photograph of the moon when anyone with an internet connection can access detailed lunar maps. Yet, despite the temptation to dismiss these claims as mere propaganda, the potential consequences are too significant to ignore. In the realm of international security, even the slightest chance of a new threat cannot be taken lightly. The U.S. and its allies must remain vigilant, analyzing every piece of intelligence and preparing for all eventualities. As we assess the situation, it's crucial to strike a balance between healthy skepticism and prudent caution. North Korea's track record suggests that their latest announcement is a likely mix of reality and hyperbole. However, the mere possibility of a new threat, whether it's an EMP attack, enhanced surveillance capabilities, or something else entirely, requires serious consideration. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. It's not just about staying informed, it's about being prepared for whatever challenges may come. In a world where the unexpected can become reality, staying ahead of the curve is not just a matter of interest, but of survival. Now, in wrapping up tonight's report, we circle back to the core question. Is North Korea's satellite claim a real threat or mere theatrics? 
On one hand, Kim Jong-un's announcement carries a hint of absurd. After all, anyone with an internet connection can view detailed images of the White House. It's almost comical, like bringing a knife to a gunfight. But beneath this veneer of absurdity lies a darker, more ominous possibility. Could these claims be a precursor to something more sinister, like an EMP attack or even a nuclear first strike? While the prospect of a North Korea planning a nuclear first strike does seem far-fetched, given the regime's focus on self-preservation, we can't afford to overlook the potential EMP threat. This balancing act between skepticism and caution is essential. It's not just about reading between the lines of Pyongyang's theatrics, it's about understanding the real and present dangers lurking behind the facade. For America, staying vigilant is not just prudent, it's imperative. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.